Hey, some people, them, they hate on you. Follow you on Insta just to free you. The way that go chat rubbish, chat rubbish. The way that go spoil your name behind you. You buy one thing, they go on buy two. Always making sure that they're better than you. But that's you, they do me, go go do you. You cannot steal my hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony Tony Alaoye and if it's your first time stopping by you are most definitely welcome. So today I'm going to be doing this look for you guys. I put the comment Snapchat like two days ago. And you guys were like oh do to on the look. So yes guys here is the tutorial live and direct. I'm also going to show you guys how I achieved this blunt cut in less than five minutes as well. And let's get right into the video. I guess I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face with my Bosia or Boskia or Boskia <laughs> oil free hydrating moisturizer. So hydrating my skin, the next thing I'm going to do is prime my face with my Iman Time Control Primer and my Sephora Beauty Amplifier. Okay, I also applied a little bit of clear gloss to my lips so my lips don't get really really dry and cracked. So for my eyebrows, I'm just going to start up by using this Benefit Brow Conditioning Primer to prime my eyebrows. Then I'm going to use my Benefit Gimme Brow. It's a tinted eyebrow gel. I don't feel like using a pencil or like the normal wax to fill in my eyebrows today. And this is in a number five. So now I'm going to go ahead and use these two brushes to blend in the concealer. So I'm going to go in with my concealer and basically prime my eyelids. Cup setting powder to set my concealer on my eyelids. I'm going to put a little bit on my brush, just of the excess powder, and just tap this onto my eyelids like so. I'm going to use the OPV eyeshadow palette in Gorgeous and so plastic like um but they have some nice colors I guess. I'm going to go in with this orange shade right here. This other brush and apply the darker orange shade right here. This one right here. And I'm going to blend it in together with this shade. I'm going with this brown shade as well. For my eyelid, I'm going to apply this shimmery orange color as well. So for my eyes, I'm going to use some mascara. Then I'm going to use these lashes. Let me open them for you guys to see. For my foundation, I'm going to be mixing my Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation with my Dear Nude Air Foundation. This one is almost done, like I have to buy myself a new one. I'm going to mix both together and yeah, I'll just go from there. So now that I'm done with my foundation, I'm going to highlight my face. I'm using the Ella Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. I'm going to use my concealer and clean up my eyeshadow like so. Like that. My last bit I need is eyeliner as well. I think I'm starting to hate eyeliner. <laughs> that's all blended into my skin I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder to set my highlight so now I'm going to go ahead and contour my face and I'm going to use my Elegal Pro Concealer in the shade Espresso I'm going to apply it a bit like so I'm also going to apply this to my temples as well some powder again and do some reverse contouring. I'm gonna use my eyeliner, my Kajal eyeliner to line my waterline. 
I don't want to smoke out my eyeliner. I don't feel like smoking it out today. So I'm going to use this orange shade. So for highlight today, I'm going to use my Urban Decay. What's it called? My Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Highlight in the shade Lit. Because it's lit. I'm just going to shimmy shimmy this on my... Okay, this highlight is not as intense as I thought it was. Is it? Not as intense as I wanted, so I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown highlight in the shade Bronze Glow because this is intense. Yeah, better, 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 better. A little bit, and apply this on my nose. I'm going to go in with my MAC Mirai Skin Finish in the shade Dark and just use this to blend out the harsh lines for my contour. I'm going to go in with the shade Sassy Girl by OPV. This is my hair and I made it into a wig and as you guys can see, I still have the lace, the extra lace from the lace cap and I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off. The consistency of the hair is not the same, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off right here so I have like a, like a long bob. My scissors and just start cutting. I have nothing to measure what I'm cutting. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the other side as well. Okay guys, when you're cutting your own hair or if you decide to cut your hair, I'm not advising you guys to go with this method. This is just what I this is just what I want to do because I have a straight hand and I can rock my hair like this if I want to but if it's your own hair making your own money to purchase it uh, except you have a straight hand and you feel comfortable doing this then go ahead but if you don't you might want to watch one of my other videos where I did my hair to a bob and just follow those simple steps so I'm going to go in with my vital soon hair straightener and I'm also going to curve it towards the end, bring it a little bit inwards. Because the hair is already straight, I don't need to go in like small sections to start doing it all over again. Do you guys see that? How it's like literally all the same. And I'm going to go back in with my scissors and trim off the excess hair that's like dangling. Okay guys, so my hair is from Face Beauty here on AliExpress. I have in four bundles of 22 inches and a 16 inch lace closure as well. And I believe the hair texture is Peruvian straight hair. So I've had this hair for two months. I've been sitting down in my cupboard doing nothing. And I decided to use it for this video. My friend Gifty helped me to turn it into a wig. I'm going to leave the link to her channel right down below so you guys can go check her out as well. Even after two months of having the hair, the hair was in the exact same condition. But the only thing I noticed about this hair which made me cut the hair shorter was because the ends of the hair were thinner than the body and I do not like that look with my wig yeah I don't know that the hair is really really nice it's silky I like the way it looks I like the silkiness of the hair and when I put my fingers through it there is no shedding at all and I like that even when I took it after two months the hair wasn't even tangling so that's a good thing I guess so it's okay hair it's good hair and I'm going to leave the link right down in my description box to where you can purchase the hair from in case you're interested and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please click on the subscribe button right down below if you subscribe to my channel and follow me on snapchat twitter and instagram i don't know i just did that like it's going to appear here like <laughs> so yeah i'll see and catch you guys in my next video okay